closer and, and bring it within easy access for spectators. They can get out there and see what it's all about. To the competitors now in Ford's off-road squad have in the last five years really worked hard on producing fine cars, teams that stand up to the pressure of consistent performance and drivers who can hang tough in the trenches. Ford point of view, our positioning is built for, uh, built for tough. So the off-road is an important and integral part of the positioning. And if you look at how we launched the new Ranger, the new Ranger's positioning is 100% truck. And off-road racing just justifies that positioning. And it's an important part of the marketing mix, we believe. What about expertise to run and manage the four teams for a tough season ahead? We feel that it's a specialist function. And uh, the expertise, we don't have that in-house. And if you think about uh, with Neil, Neil Woolridge especially, We've been associated with him for a long time. He's built vehicles, he's raced vehicles, he's got the expertise, and who's be who better to entrust the brand to? Ford is at a proud international record. How is that integrated into local racing? From the off-road point of view, we are the leaders uh, when it comes to off-road for Ford worldwide. Um, and uh, we do get expertise advice from uh, our source companies in terms of engines and so forth. They do give us advice. Uh, and um, also we get a lot of queries now, lately, from the other companies like Ford of Portugal. They want to buy a vehicle. So that's the start, starting now. So that's an interesting, uh, that for, from a South African point of view, I believe you know, that means we've proven something. Neil, uh, Neil and his team have done so well for us, they're now, uh, the overseas companies are asking about our vehicle. We wanted to know if Ford's sponsorship of the new Gauteng event will continue, and if so, why? We, we feel that uh, that's important, especially for the, lo for the local, wherever the locality we are, just to show that you know, we do, we do uh, sponsor the, 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 the event. It's, it's good for publicity, it's good to show that Ford is part of the team, and not only racing, but also just sponsoring an event. It's good for our customers, and we use that as an opportunity to take our customers to, take some media to the event, and also our internal people. You know, it's an important part of our sponsorship. Does it affect sales as far as the off-road vehicles are concerned, and is it possible to quantify it? I'd like to believe that the off-roading is part of the marketing mix and has, um, has resulted in sale, good sales. And uh, you can't, we can't quantify specifically what off-road has done for us, but Together with the other uh, marketing uh, mix, I think it's done a world of good. As I said before, it's part of our Ford tough heritage. And we believe that off-road uh, plays an integral part, an important part of that fact. The SP class has brought a new interest to the production vehicle category of racing, especially for Ford. Look, the formula of SP is fantastic. There's certain components that everybody has to use. And then it's down to how we put the car together and uh, the, the backup that we have. So uh, we believe we've got the best team and the best backup. Uh, we're looking a little bit in uh, developing a bit more power. But uh, last year we won the last race. And if we can take it forward from there, hopefully we'll start off on the same footing this year. There is also a new program that has worked very well for Ford. And that includes all the dealers, an exciting venture that involves another tier of the market. Well, it fits in with um, the Ford dealer program. We've uh, now got all the dealers involved in our program. Uh, and obviously with the new 3-litre Ranger, that is the new shape, the new evolution. And uh, so we've rebodied the cars, and it actually gives us a little bit uh, of advantage in certain areas. There are also a few interesting and big-name signings on the books for the blue and white trademark oval. Well, we're fortunate. We've got a new, few new uh, partners this year. Um, we've got uh, Lucio and Jack in the Class E which is fantastic. They'll be comp campaigning the new three liter. Uh, and then we've got uh, Neil and myself, also in SP, which have been there forever. Uh, Mark Ferguson and Craig West in, uh, in the SP. And then we've got uh, Kurbis and Rion in the, in the X, uh, that was our old car from, from 2006. And then of course we've got uh, LP and uh, I think uh, Henny Testeche. So uh, yeah, we've got a fantastic team. And I think Ford will be a great force this year. The signing of Cox and the Stecher, who have formed a championship winning combination before, is a big coup for Ford and will no doubt be a big threat throughout the 08 season. 
Well, eventually they all come across. I mean, it only takes a matter of time and they all get to where they should be. So, no, it's great to have a good competitive uh, driver and navigator in another car. Uh, it just adds to the strength of, of Ford Motor Racing in South Africa. The inquiries have come from far and wide, what with the consistent performances from Ford on local soil. Uh, there's been a lot of interest in our cars uh, from European countries, uh, basically planning on doing the Dakar and their series over there. So uh, we've got quite a few customers that have shown interest and uh, Neil, Neil has spoken to them and he's put a program together for them and we'll take it further from there. But uh, our concentration is on South Africa. Uh, our demands are better here, the race conditions are more difficult, so if it works here, it'll certainly work overseas. Is there in the Ford camp a certain team that gets preferential treatment or cars? How does it work? Now look, it's very important. I mean, we, we don't segregate whoever's running with the Ford. We have uh, assistance for all of them, and uh, Neil has been fantastic in actually carrying them and giving them technical advice, so we hope to continue and build on that base. Um, obviously, we're restricted in how many cars we can build in a year. Um, but uh, whatever, we, whatever we've built, it's continued racing. So we have a great program and we expect possibly one, maybe two uh, new SPs this year. So we've got a good program going forward. We've tied in all the dealers and it's really working well. Vehicle and asset finance from ABSA. Going the extra mile to get you financial.